Good morning. I want to start this little message off with uh, this for everybody. So um, you know, sometimes we just go off on our day and we uh just totally ignore Jesus and what He's done for us and how our lives can be better. You know what I'm saying? We start to worry and and get frustrated when things don't go our way or when things happen to us. But I'm gonna let you know, no matter what you go through, God loves you. You know what I'm saying? God still loves you. Even though you haven't accepted him and you, you don't know the revelation that he has for us, which is Jesus. And you don't know Jesus, but God still loves you. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you go through. Don't blame it. Don't blame it on him. Blame it on yourself. Blame it on yourself because you're not walking in God's will. You're not doing what God wants you to do. You're not being obedient to God. I'm not condemning you. I'm just saying there's a better life for you up ahead. You know what I'm saying? Once you open your, open your heart and accept Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Don't complain. Don't get frustrated. Just know that it's the evil and the wickedness of this world that's trying to bring you down. That's trying to get you to lose faith or get you to doubt that there even is a God. But there is a God. There is a God. There's one and only true God. There's only one God. Don't get it twisted. But I just let you, want you to let you know God loves you no matter what you go through. You know what I'm saying? No matter what. Doesn't matter. All your troubles in your life, all the pain, all the depression, all the despair, Everything that you're going through is not of God. It's of the evil one. You know what I'm saying? It's of the world. Because this world is really dark right now. So don't worry about what's going, what you're going through, knowing that you can get out of it. And God will give you something better if you follow his path and come to him. And your life will be so much more peaceful. I can attest to that because I have no problems in this world whatsoever. No problems over them. It's little small things, you know, that, but they go away. God takes those away too, you know what I'm saying? So I just walk with Jesus every day. And um, the only anxieties that I have is me being anxious and excited to go out and preach the word, the word every day. That's, that's when I get excited. You know, I used to get excited going to the clubs and, and, and meeting a new female, going out on dates, and, and that doesn't excite me anymore. I don't even walk in that kind of lifestyle anymore. You know, the only thing I get excited about is when people come to the kingdom. Oh, you want to get baptized? Oh, man, praise the Lord. The angels in heaven are rejoicing. You know what I'm saying? I get excited. Everything to do with Jesus, I get excited about it. You know what I'm saying? If my friend called me right now and said, hey, let's go out to uh, the preach the word today. I don't care if it's like five, six in the evening. I'm going. You know what I'm saying? If I got the funds, I'm going. Definitely going. You know what I'm saying? Or let's go to uh, let's go to a, a, a kingdom uh, service, kingdom Bible study or whatever. I'm going. Anything to do with the Lord, I'm going. You know what I'm saying? If it says, let's go to see the... Uh, the the deliverance. I'm like, you must have fallen and hit your head somewhere. I ain't going to see no movie like The Deliverance. You must be out of your mind, man. No, I'm just playing, but uh, nah, I don't do stuff like that. I don't want, I, that's, that's something I don't want to watch. That's like opening, that's like opening a, a, a Ouija board. You know what I'm saying? You got a Ouija board. And I, you don't mess with the occult. We don't mess with that. We already know uh, about this. I, I don't invite demons. You know what I'm saying? You know, but I, even though I am an untouchable, I've got the armor of God. I wear the armor of God every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm untouchable. Well, they can't do that. They can't do or say anything to me. You know what I'm saying? But uh, as long as you believe and you accept Jesus Christ, watch how your life will change, Holmes. Watch how your life will change. It's going to get better. You know what I'm saying? He took me out from the guttermost to the uttermost. And he saved me from death six times. Six times. I have a tenth in my life six times. You know what I'm saying? 
and he bought me out of all of it. And it didn't, I didn't even realize that it was him who did it until it was revealed to me. It was revealed to me when I accepted Jesus as my Savior. Then I knew, and I knew, and I still know that if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be sitting in this chair in my in my bedroom doing this video. I'd be dead or locked up. You know what I'm saying? Dead or locked up. But I think more dead. Yeah, I think I'd be more dead than locked up. But uh, I'm just letting you know it's never too late. Everybody has a chance for salvation. Today could be your day of salvation. And you'll be saved from the decimation of this wicked nation. You heard me? So accept Jesus today as your Lord and Savior and watch. I guarantee you, watch how your life will change. Watch how your life will change for the better. You ain't going to have no more worries, no more troubles, no more family problems, no more wife problems, no more husband problems, no more alcohol problems, no more sexuality problems, no, none of that. It's going to be gone. It's going to disappear. Just like that. You heard me? So, um... If you just want, if you just want to have a, a better life, and and you don't have to, you don't want no worries at all. You know, come to Jesus today. Come to Jesus today. Amen.